a need for memory. Black Brazilians dig into family roots to fight historical erasure attention is turning to individuals and families as country confronts legacy of slavery and question of reparations Eliana Alves Cruz and Branca Viana grew up at a similar time in different neighborhoods of Rio de Janeiro that the two Brazilian women had very different experiences of their family history. Cruz, 57, was always surrounded by elderly relatives, yet struggled to get them to recount stories about the men and women who had preceded them. In contrast, Vienna remembers the omnipresent figure of her grandmother's great-grandfather, who died in 1868. There was even a painting of him hanging in the family home where Vienna, now 61, spent her holidays as a child. Cruz is black and, she has since discovered, descended from a West African woman who was trafficked to Brazil in the early 19th century. Vianne is white and her great-great-great-grandfather was an enslaver who made a fortune in coffee. Their stories reflect a common pattern among Brazilian families. While European ancestry tends to be remembered and celebrated, institutionalized silence around how the African diaspora shaped the country has robbed its descendants of their personal history. Many black Brazilians feel keenly the absence of this history, but attempting to recover it can be the work of a lifetime. Everyone, one day, wonders about where they come from. And in Brazil, for the black population especially, it's something of a thorny issue. It's uncomfortable, said Cruz. Helton Simus Gomez, 35, was never given answers to his questions about where his grandparents came from. A lack of knowledge that always hurt, he said. Whenever I found myself in conversations about our origins with people with different heritage, it was glaringly obvious that I had nothing to say, he said. Brazil has a long history of silencing the experience of its black citizens, who account for the majority of its population. Africans trafficked across the Atlantic had a new identity forced upon them when they arrived in Brazil. Two years after slavery was finally abolished in 1888, the abolitionist Rai Barbosa, then finance minister, ordered the destruction of documents related to slavery as a way of simply moving on. Post-abolition, the new Brazilian Republic had no policies to integrate the newly freed black population into paid labor, and African cultural practices such as samba and capoeira were criminalist. Brazil is a country that always wanted to whiten itself, that never appreciated its black roots. This desire for whitening is, in my opinion, the root of all this historical erasure, said Cruz.